Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. So, uh, before I get going, I want to mention that um, I've upgraded to a different version of the Lazy Noob Pack. I'm now using the expanded Lazy Noob Pack, and I'm trying to keep things as sort of vanilla and easy to understand as possible, uh, which is why I haven't really made use of a lot of different kind of mods and modifiers and plugins and things that you can do for Dwarf Fortress. Um, but there's one thing that I was getting kind of tired of, and that's micromanaging the labors of my dwarves in Dwarf Therapist. And this, um, this Lazy Noob Pack comes with a variety of extra plugins for DF Hack, uh, including the mouse plugin, which I always disable because I think it kind of crashes the game from time to time. But one of the things it includes is this auto labor command. And what it does is it will take care of the dwarves' labors automatically. When a job comes up, it will look at all the dwarves that are currently idle and try to assign a reasonable one to that labor. And it will sort of toggle things on and off, on and off. And as a result, you will often end up with fewer laborers. You can also do stuff like, um, mass assigned smoothing jobs. Now I've got some already going here. I'm trying to remember. Oh, see like down here, right? So I can I can set the smooth stone. And you know, th that is one way to keep your dwarves busy is to have all these smoothings. But what I didn't like to do in um, Dwarf Therapy is, is just give everyone the smoothing job because yeah, that'll keep your idle count low, but it also means that your useful dwarves will not be being useful. They'll be busy, you know, um, smoothing down stone. So this way we can keep everyone busy but in a much more productive way. So um, I'm trying to remember if I've changed my hotkeys or progressed a little bit. I, time did flow a little bit as I was testing uh, the plugin, making sure everything was working, but I don't think you missed much. There was actually one new migrant wave that came in. So um, I actually will load up if I can find the icon for it. There we go. I will load up the Dwarf Therapist just to be able to see. There we are. Run program. Um, who we got in the wave. Oh, and we will take a look at that message in just a second. So if I sort this by migration wave, and we can just see how many we got. We got 12 more. We actually getting quite a large number of uh, dwarves at this point. The man Ikar Kesotoli has come, a medium-sized creature prone to great ambition. Wait, this is like, this is just a human, right? He's just, he's just a guy? It's a female, actually. She has broad body with very little fat. Her greasy hair is extremely long. Her quite long eyebrows are extremely low. She has a narrow recessed chin. Her nose is short. Her dark chestnut eyes are slightly closed set. Her ears are somewhat narrow. Her hair is white. Her skin is dark tan. This, this is the great threat? Is, is this a murderer or something? Like, or I think these messages just happen sometimes. We're going to see if she does anything other than just wander off. People are a bit interrupted by human. I think he's just she's just wandering off. Oh, all right, we got a baby, which is great. Uh, I've got my squads here. You know what I want to do is I want to reorganize my squads. So let me do that. Um, I am going to disband and disband. So it's interesting. The captain of the guard role. Alright, we'll create a role for this. So what I want is I want one squad that is going to be based on metal armor, and I'm going to rename this. This is going to be... Um, I don't remember, maybe I already did this. I should have double-checked. Um, this is not going to have a great original name. This is going to be my melee squad. And then we're going to create another squad over here, and this is going to be my range squad. And that's that. So equipment, individual choice melee. Individual choice range, which is great, and we actually have to uh, add some people to the squad. So I'm going to start from the bottom of the list because oh, it looped back to the top, which is kind of annoying. Oh, uh, rename this one to ranged, and I could go shopping for skills, but it sounds that sounds like work. Boom, 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 boom. All right, good. New squads sorted out. They are not currently active, right? Good, that's fine. And then we will assign them to some training situations shortly. Or actually, what I'm going to do is just drop down to here. And I've got my barracks over here. So we're just going to tell both squads that they are free to train here whenever they want. They can guard the, the basement. And that should be fine. We are still a little low on plump helmet spawns. Oops, where's my actual farm? Oh, over here. 
Yeah, which is fine. I mean, we're still growing plenty of stuff. Um, and are we good on drink? We are not good on drink. We are set to brew drink. I wonder if we have a plant shortage. That might be a combo. Like, if our, if people are eating the plump helmets... Uh, well, they would still leave seeds behind, so I'm not entirely sure. And I do have a seed stockpile. Yeah, but not a whole lot of stuff going on. Oh, a lot of people have suggested that um, in the prepared food stockpile, we actually... Is it the prepare the actual food? No. Yes, prepared food. We actually don't want barrels, people have suggested, because they don't actually stack as well for prepared food. So we'll do that. Also turn off the wheelbarrows, because apparently that is slightly unoptimal. Uh, except for the actual stone stockpile, which I believe this is one. Yeah, stone stockpile, and it's got three wheelbarrows. Have we turned them off everywhere else? Yeah, I think I took care of all that in the past. Okay. Um, also, I don't remember if my craft dwarf shop... Yeah, they're on repeat for rock mugs, which I suppose is fine, although I'm thinking about just making them uh, managerial jobs. Okay, so so that's good. One of the other things I like about the auto labors, I feel like it's going to make a huge difference when it comes to doing mining jobs. They're still slaughtering plenty of people because I think we're still working on... We want some leather armor and leather gear, but we're going to want to start getting metal works going on because I don't think we've got that going on. We've got a metalsmith's forge, which is great. Um, can't remember where everything is. There we go. Smelter, pig iron, and native silver ore. There we go. So I can start making some um, iron goods. In fact, I'll probably... Yeah, the pig iron is there because I want to be able to make steel soon enough. What are you up to, bud? How are you doing? You're good? Yeah? Kind of blinking oddly. Quite content. Okay. And I think down here we can actually see our happiness at a glance. So we've got no one who is truly miserable, which is a really, really good sign. So, um, trying to remember what other status we had in. We're still, like, slaughtering all the things. Uh, my bedroom status is pretty good. Have all these things been turned into actual bedrooms? I think so. Again, a little bit of time has passed, but you haven't missed anything major. And over here, yes. There's got to be a, like a faster way to identify this. I'm just seeing if anything does not blink with the blue X's, because that would mean um, that it's not a bedroom. I've got a nice little room set up over here. This is for my mare, right? Because I've got an actual mare. Uh, he's actually not entirely happy. He does want some bucklers made. I guess I should turn off the... Uh, there we go. We'll turn off the true type fonts, that way we don't get missing characters. We do get like some weird characters every now and again, but it's not the end of the world. So he wants some bucklers. He's also not happy enough with the state of his office, quarters, and dining room. Uh, he's got all the items he needs. It's just not nice enough for him, which I will take to mean make some statues. Uh, I am currently smelting sil silver, so let's make some silver statues. We'll make uh, we'll make four, and then we can build S for statue. Now, normally, right now it's saying I need a statue before I can build it. But one of the other things with the uh, DF hack mods that I've got going on, I can go into this planning mode by hitting P, and now it'll let me place some things. Oh, I actually already have. Oh, that's still not good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to place statues here, and even though I don't have them, it will still let me place them. Uh, and then once they get constructed, there'll automatically be a job created to bring the statues out over there. And so, nice little handy thing. I think I've got the same thing going on here with cabinets, because I don't have quite enough of them. Okay, and... Um, oh, and coffins as well. So that's good. We've got plenty of spare empty coffins right now. We haven't had that many deaths. Things are going very well. Do we have any health problems? No, everything is good. Justice, everything is fine right now. Assuming we can meet our mandate required by our mayor to make those bucklers. Now, I don't think he specified a material. No, just any bucklers of any kind. So I think what I did is I set up uh, wooden bucklers as a job. Let's make it a top priority. Just make sure that it gets done in a reasonable amount of time. Who else is unhappy? The captain of the guard also needs a nice office. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, build him a nice little chamber as well. And I don't like the fact that these things don't line up with proper size here, so we're going to see what we can do about that. But I think I'm going to start building a little closer to the stairs as well. So, 
you know, I could probably do a five and then like that. And hopefully that will be good enough for my captain of the guard, assuming I put in some nice looking things. And while I'm at it, I will go ahead and carve out a few more. Just because there, there'll be another demand or two for something nice. Okay, that's good. Oh, right, and I'd also set up, uh, I was setting up a prison down here, which actually, I don't suppose I can make my, I don't know if it's a good idea to make my captain of the guard the sheriff. Is there not, I'm confused, is there not a sheriff role? Am I thinking of something different? Is he the sheriff? Oh, maybe, probably. So yeah, I suppose I could make him, what's his name? Shorest. Make him the hammer, which is actually stupid because he's going to be armed with a really good weapon. We're going to make a glass cutter, the hammer, and hopefully they're like totally useless at actually beating people over the head. Because the thing is, we want to avoid killing any dwarf, including criminals, because they're going to be friends with someone, and those friends are going to be really upset when their friend dies, and then that's going to lead to tantruming dwarves, which is all bad. Build door, and I'm even going to go to planning mode so I don't have to worry about assigning materials or anything like that. It's just going to take care of it for me. Um, and we don't need a door here, so that's fine. What else are we going to drop in? So we're going to put in a uh, restraint, which is V for our chains. So we're going to go ahead and drop a chain in the middle of each one of these rooms. Uh, we could specify, in fact, for this, it might be smarter now that I think about it to. Um, specify metal, although it's probably fine. Once they're in here, they're probably in half decent shape. Uh, we're going to build a bed. We'll also go planning mode. So again, why do we give the, the criminals such nice rooms? And the reason is that we don't want them to go berserk. We don't want them to go incredibly unhappy. Uh, one of the other things we're going to do is drop some stockpiles in here, like that, and like that. And I'm going to make sure that one of them is set to B. Um, block, actually no, hold on, allow all except drink, this is going to be the food stockpile, uh, not seeds either, just want it to be ed edible food, I suppose some of these plants are not edible, um, forbid plants, allow plump helmets, there we go. Forbid, 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 forbid. Okay, and there'll be prepared food and all that. So there's going to be food in that one, and this one is going to be drink, which is a lot easier to do. Block all, and then permit both kinds of drink. And then what I can do is use the handy dandy. Where's my hack? Is this the hack? No. There we go, DF hack. And I can go copy, copy stocks. Stock copy. Damn it. What's the command called? Hmm. Well, you guys won't be able to see if it's over there. That's stocks. It's probably cop. I probably have it a plural wrong. Copy stock. Oh. So copy stock. So it's going to copy all the options in my top stockpile and then allow me to very quickly place an identical one over there. And then what I will do is select this one here, run copy stock again, and then put that down that way. Oh, and it doesn't actually... Oh, they do have the barrel set up. Okay, good. And we might, in fact, go ahead and add additional decoration in there. Um, we could put in some furniture, like uh, a chest, cabinet, statue, you know, whatever it takes to make it, give these dwarves as many happy thoughts while they're in prison. I guess we can really use these rooms here for our sheriff, right? That's the idea. Oh yeah, so let, that's right. So I do want a door here, here, and here. I want a chair and a table. And then he's going to have a private dining room over here. So we'll go, um, we'll go table, table, chair, chair. Actually, we'll give him some more. Lots of room for company and a bed and a, and 
container and a cabinet. Go into planning mode for it. Good. And whenever this will get done, uh, this was what we're going to assign to our captain of the guard. So these bedrooms will be used for someone else. Oh, we actually forgot to put in a square there and there. And hopefully we get the military sorted out very quickly, and then we will go and delve deeply and greedily, as dwarves do. <laughs> you just keep seeing like the slaughtered messages time after time after time as I'm like culling that animal list to try to get, you know, things to be a little bit more reasonable. Plus, we want leather for armor and such. Oh, what was the message here? Oh, no silver bars. Now, I believe it is being smelted. Yeah, native silver ore. So we just have to wait until more of that gets uh, done. Hopefully people are going to work on that. There are enough people around, and the auto labor should take care of that, ideally. We have lots of dwarves. Holy cow. Frame rate is doing okay for now, but it may not forever. Refuse stockpile still have rooms. We don't have logs? Really? All right, let's chop down some more evil trees. Because F trees, right? And you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab some plants as well, too. Because I'm still not sure about our overall food supply status and so on. Okay, things are growing well there. People becoming leather workers, still complaining about the lack of silver. Apparently I turned off this exploratory tunnel. more slaughtering of cats. They're good eating. Oh my god, everything is being picked clean out here, which is just terrible. But yeah, a bunch of people, as many axes as we've got, people are going to go out and start chopping trees. And again, it will prioritize people who are at all good at doing that sort of thing, but it does mean that things get done a lot quicker, and I love the auto labor. It, it just, it really increases the pace of your, um, your fortress considerably. Which mostly just keeps you sane, rather than acts as any kind of significant cheat. People are still going to the well for water, which bothers the hell out of me. I haven't figured that out. We're striking silver, which is nice and lovely. We can uh, set up a job to smooth this out, because we're going to want these bedrooms at some point. Things are going well there. Good. So, our captain of the guard. We're going to make a throne room slash study over here. What am I doing wrong? R. Did I accidentally hit, like, caps lock? No. I must be hitting the wrong keys. Um, Captain of the Guard. Captain of the Guard is there, so that's his dining room. Guard. What the heck? There, oh, there must be something with one of the plugins that's changing the way some of these things work. I must be just missing something about one of the mods, which is probably here to make my life easier. I'm just not following it. Okay, uh, we're going to go to our cages here, and we're going to make a room. Hey, what is the deal with that? And we are going to say that it can be used for justice. For great justice. Use for justice. And once more here. There we go. So people will be able to be jailed now if there's any sort of crime going on. We've got some food kicking around there, which is great and lovely. Need plump helmet spawn for planting. Got no silk. I don't get. Did I have a repeat job or something? Shouldn't actually be popping up anything. Cancel that. Leather backpack has been completed. Now I am wondering if I should be building walls, but I, I think I'm going to keep them down. I mean, we're looking for fun. As soon as there's a proper siege, we're going to send all our dwarves out there in one ginormous battle and then 
have people drop dead and the whole thing drop into a spiral tantrum, which, I mean, that's entertaining, right? Are you not entertained? All right, so digging down, digging down, digging down. I don't remember. Oh, we did run into, like, the big chasm of doom there. Oh, right, and we did that, and then we're still going down. Oh, I forgot about all this. Do I have more hotkeys set up? Oh, that was to, to peak. That's why I did that. Um, which means build, construct, wall. And what we're going to do is build one wall here. And then I'm going to build a second wall here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to forbid... Or I'm going to... What am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to suspend the construction of the second wall. That Because the problem is dwarves could come through to the other side and then build over there. This, I think, will work. I think they'll stand over there. It might not matter. I suppose I could do an actual forbidding. Yeah, it's probably it's probably fine. They probably won't wall themselves in. I don't know, though. Dwarves are pretty dumb. Anywho, down we go. Oh, and I never did wire that one bridge to raise up, which is okay, because this is going to be fun. Fun is what it's all about. We are actually not that far from the very bottom of the map, so... Let's dig down. I want to watch them dig because I want to see. They, eventually they're going to hit something. I'm surprised we can't see any magma. Hmm. Oh, giving birth to a boy, so it like, warped me up. This is a really long way down. I guess it takes a while for the miners to get down here. Which is always a problem when you set up your magma forges. They're so far from the rest of your empire. We've got an outpost liaison. All right, we've got a caravan coming. Okay, that's lovely. Now, did I set up the automatic stockpile over here? I can't remember. Oh, I did. That's another cool feature. Um, this stockpile here, I changed the settings so that it sets the finished goods, but specifically, it only accepts goblets, which is what mugs are. And then I use the mod tool that flags this to be auto-trade. So as soon as traders show up, dwarves will come and automatically grab all these bins and anything that's in the stockpile and move it to the trade depot. Just, you know, a little way to save a little bit of work makes it's very very handy meanwhile we're gonna go over here and we're gonna say that hey we need a trader and I believe the auto labor will automatically adjust the dwarves labor so that it'll turn off all the other stuff so he's gonna go over here and trade yeah see so stop digging right away uh, he is gonna stop for a drink because of course this is a dwarf and they're gonna drink and eat and go to a party and do all these things um, God forbid they should actually try to trade anything that would never happen there's a wheelbarrow over here Oh, bar and block stockpile, too. That, that's totally fine to use wheelbarrows, I think, because it's probably pretty heavy. I expect. I don't know if that's true. Trading at depot. Great. Oh, he's not quite there, because we don't have the trade option yet, but he's on his way. There we are. Oh. No trade? Oh, they're still showing up. I still saw wagons appear. I guess it was just still too early. How many wagons have... Oh my god, they just keep bringing more and more. And what is this? Merit deserves a reward, and I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Do you have any dwarves to recommend for elevation? I can scarcely believe this good news. I have some recommendations. Flattering, but we'd rather maintain our distance from the homeland. So we are about to have a noble show up. And nobles are great. And by great, I mean they're huge pains in the asses that don't get anything done and just make demands and are just problematic. But they increase the amount of fun that your fortress has. So, yes, of course I have recommendations. We are going to turn... Um, who? Who are we going to elevate? I should probably elevate myself. Where's the... like? Captain of the Guard. I didn't see the mayor at a glance. Oh, there we go. See, the mayor is speaking to him. That's Thob is doing the conversation right now. And of course, Thob is absolutely going to recommend himself for a role. Can I recommend more? No, there we go. Recommend. Escape for done. Is that like a traffic jam over at the trade depot? That's what it looks like. Oh, what happened? Warm stone. Okay. This stone right here is warm. 
So uh, they stop mining for one, and that's very good. Um, we're going to remove some designations here. All the way down, just to get rid of it so that it doesn't bother me. Okay, going all the way back up. So, yeah, there we go. That was warm stone. So, let's um, dig out over this way and see what we might run into. Uh, what do we want from the merchant? I don't know, frankly. We're doing all right. We don't want crass. Uh, we'll ask for a little bit of wood just in case. Same as before, just ask for all the kinds of bars because they're relatively cheap and it's nice to have some variety around in case there's a weird request. Um, I suppose we can ask for a few different gems just to see. Um, large cut gems just in case, stone blocks we can probably live without, right? Sure. Um, more plump helmet spawns, we definitely need some of those. We won't need weapon. we're gonna be good on metal, we're gonna be just like laughing here in a second. Um, ask for some yaks. Top priority, we want yaks. Always more drink is good. A little bit of cheese. Um, a bit of glass. This stuff is all good. Alright, done. dig sideways, and then what we're going to do is dig down. And we should be totally fine. Oh, it's going to be exciting to finally hit magma. Yeah, and magma is the correct word. I probably keep saying uh, lava, but it's magma if it's still sort of below the ground. I mean, maybe it, because it's going to be exposed, maybe it becomes lava at that point, but I'm pretty sure magma is the right word. Mayor wants something. What does he want? He's got a mandate. He wants more bucklers. He loves bucklers. What's his deal here? Um, does he specify something about bucklers? Bucklers, yeah. He loves bucklers. All right. Well, listen, dude. We can totally do that for you. That's fine. Captain of the Guard um, has no weapon racks, no armor stands. I can see how that would be a problem as a Captain of the Guard. Where is the prison level? Um... That's fine. Right here. Build armor stand. Weapon rack, which we don't have. We'll go into planning mode, drop one down, and then go and add a weapon rack uh, from rock. Here, we'll build five just to have a few kicking around. Now, you're also complaining about the quality of stuff. Oh, it's just your quarters you're complaining about. You know what then? Hold on. Let's remove and remove. We're going to build the... I have no idea what I just clicked away from, but that's alright. We're going to build the armor rack and the weapon... or <laughs> armor stand and weapon rack in the bedroom, which will add value to it. Plus, you know, that way you can get dressed in your bedroom before the start of the shift. I thought it would be intimidating to have it in your office, but you know what? You're happy with your office, we'll just put it in the bedroom. The value of things is affected by the stuff that's in it. Also, to a certain extent, the size of the room, although that might mostly just be a factor of how much you can smooth. Anyway, we should be able to finally trade here. Excellent. Let's get started on that. Uh, as far as I know, there's still no mod for trading. I might be wrong, though. It's an interesting question. Um, like... Could you just please mark everything on the right-hand side as, like, trade? Yeah, see that? Auto-trade is just sending things. Hmm. I don't know. Um, so we'll just go down the list. The Oh, no, hold on. There is There is a decent way. Because what I can do is I can search by hitting W. I can type bin, and I can flag all the bins to be traded away and call that good enough. All the stuff inside of it is going to be flagged as well. Whoops. That, um, that's not how I'm supposed to exit. Bin. And then get rid of the search request. There we go. 
There you go. So the bins are set to trade. There's a few mugs here that weren't in bins because they were probably produced after the dwarves grabbed everything. And then on this side, well, we're producing silver. Although, I, I don't know, I guess it doesn't hurt. And we'll grab a little bit of everything. Even steel is certainly fine. That way we'll have a nice variety of goods. The trader's still making huge profit, so he's not going to mind. Uh, yeah, some gems. Well, we don't need blocks. They're cheap. I don't know, what the hell. We'll grab a few. Some clear glass. A little clay. A little loam. Wood, because it's really, really inexpensive, and it's quite handy to buy them in bulk like this to save some time. We'll just make sure to just burn it. Just buy the wood so we can burn it. Turn it to ash, and then throw the ash away. Just because it'll upset the elves. And we have quite a bit of money. Come on. Oof. Yeah, this stuff's kind of time consuming. Okay. Uh, what is this? A rope? Yeah. Silk rope is a little pricey, but... Okay, we're going to have lots of rope. We don't need any more of that. Um, water skins and things. Flasks, yes. I probably I know we built a bunch, but we've got a bit of a military going on now. We've got toy axes. We've got yaks. There we are. I want yaks. Although it doesn't mean we have to have them graze. I probably just shouldn't bother with any of these animals. It's actually quite expensive. Buck rabbit's not very expensive. Rooster? Sure. Um, let's keep going down. Wine, beer, rum. Bumblebee venom? Sure. What the hell? Maybe we can use it for something. Ale, beer, rum, all the things. Booze, 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 booze. I'm not going to really need the empty barrels. Bronze short sword, silver war hammer, get some silver mace, yeah, copper battle axe, yeah, yeah, some weapons, more picks, sure, uh, maybe not the iron pick, it's really expensive, maybe it doesn't matter that much, silver war hammer, steel spear, sounds good to me, oh, that's a cheaper iron pick, oh, I guess it was the steel thing that was expensive before, silver war hammer, all right, um, some armor down here. Some iron eye, eye boots, sure. Shields, bucklers. Um, shield, shield. Oh, trader profit dropped way too low. Hold on. Uh, will you take this trade? Thump. Really? All right. This trade. You selfish son of a bitch. Really? How much profit? My guy must be a terrible negotiator. How much profit does he want? There, five grand in profit. Screw you, buddy. All right, we can uh, release our, our broker at this point and keep that going fine. I mean, we did get a lot of metal, which is actually going to be quite handy. Um, we can start producing more of our own goods, that sort of thing. And of course, everything is going to be super awesome. Uh, we can look over the document, but I don't really care. Everything's going to go super awesome when we get our magma forges going. So let us um, let's dig a little downward staircase right here and see what happens. Apparently, a goose is going to come and dig it out for us. That's a very handy goose. Come on, say faster. I really want to see what's down here. Now, the warm stone, uh, having the warm stone sort of one tile behind below this doesn't mean there's magma automatically. But I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling confident that we're going to find the hot stuff. Really? We might be a few layers above it. It's probably safe. Well,. Probably safe to dig down from here. I'm trying to remember how pressure works. Um, I mean, we're not going to flood upwards into our fortress, so we should be all right. There we go. A great magma sea. 
Raw Adamantine. Praise the miners. We're, like, practically right on top of it. Oh, okay, no, we're not. Where is the Adamantine? level down now. I'm confused. Oh! Oh, right over here. Oh, I see. So, oh, well, that's, oh, it, there it is, too. Oh, so we can easily dig down and start getting adamantine. That's great! Get some candy. We all like candy, right? Oh, you actually, oh, look at this. We, like, just dodged the, the first magma sea over here. We were that close to, like, breaching that. I mean, not that it would have been breached exactly, but still. Okay, so this is the floor that we actually want to dig out. So we can get downstairs going there. That's fine. And we can... Yeah, let's just clear out a huge area here because we're going to want room for stockpiles and all kinds of things. We're going to get a lot of these alerts with the warm stone. It's actually going to be really annoying because it's going to pause every time they discover it, and it will also unmark things. There's probably a way to stop that. I think there was a way for the water one. At least I thought so. No, no. I wonder if I revealed the tiles and then did this, if it would work? I don't know. Oh, resume. Yeah, this is going to be so annoying. Resume. Resume. <laughs> this is so time consuming. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this episode here and I will play around with this mess of designations over here and get this area cleared out. And next time we will have a nice magma smelting operation. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.